Uh, Aaron, uh, invest in the USA initiative, the store that you are happening in India. What is the uh, outcome that you are expecting and what is the investment that you're looking and what are the rules to the game? Well, the outcome that we're hoping for is increased awareness and understanding of the EB-5 program. Um, IIUSA is not looking for investments. Our members certainly um, would appreciate them, but I think only after uh, the audiences that we're engaging with uh, in the cities here in India have an understanding of the program uh, and feel comfortable with uh, how it works uh, and what the costs and risks are. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit about the program and uh, the investment uh, that uh, is expected to qualify for this uh, program? Sure. Five? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I, I, I have always seen the EV5 program as, um, as a, um, an economic development program in the United States painted with an immigration brush. I mean, ultimately, what the program was created for was to spur economic development in the United States. Investors, in fact, are required by law to assure that their investments create U.S. jobs. So the minimum investment right now, according to new law, is 800,000 U.S. dollars. Uh, if the investment is made in certain areas of the U.S. that are considered high unemployment uh, or perhaps in a rural area, um, there is a higher investment that can be made in projects anywhere in the United States. Typically, you may find them um, in dense urban areas, New York, Miami, Dallas, and so forth. That is uh, 1050000 So uh, it depends on the risk tolerance of the investor. Uh, it depends on the project itself. Uh, but ultimately, what we hope to be sure of is that any investor is educated about the program so that when they make the investment, they understand exactly what the rules of the road are. Uh, you also talked about that the 700 number is only a ballpark number and it can increase because India uh, has a lot of interest in this program, but also other countries may uh, fall back upon on this program so that India can have some more numbers. Uh, can you uh, spread, uh, speak a little bit on that uh, uh, permutation combination that may be there? It gets complicated, but again, according to U.S. law, uh, there are only 10,000 EB-5 visas uh, uh, afforded or allowed in any fiscal year. Um, every country in the world interested in securing an EB-5 visa um, is allotted 7% of that total. However, not all countries use the total 700. And in addition to that, especially in these previous years because of COVID, when U.S. consulates were shut down, uh, interviews were not very easy to come by, a lot of other, EB, other, other visa categories were not leveraged. And again, according to U.S. law, when certain visa categories are not used, they will roll over into other visa categories, increasing their amount, including EB-5. So uh, it gets to be um, an interesting numbers game that we need to pay attention to in conjunction with the U.S. Department of State. But on any given day, uh, the percentage of U.S. EB-5 visas available to Indian investors will go up or down. It just depends on what the Department of State numbers are at the time. Indian high net worth uh, uh, individuals are, are increasing by numbers in India. So do you think uh, that the pulse for EB-5 is very right at this point of time when what Russia and Ukraine crisis uh, is uh, taking the maximum attention for all the wrong reasons? I agree it's taking the maximum attention for all the wrong reasons, but uh, in my opinion, the EB-5 visa program really has nothing to do um, with, with those sorts of, of global affairs. If we're asking about demand and the extent to which high net worth individuals in India are, are increasing their demand for opportunities through EB-5, uh, I would simply point to the events that IIUSA and PhD are hosting here in Delhi and Mumbai and elsewhere in India where we have um, capacity crowds. Uh, there's a lot of people who are interested in knowing more about the program uh, and to me that is a reflection of demand. Uh, one last question. Uh, Europe and Western Europe uh, particularly have more lucrative offers uh, for the citizenship. Uh, do you think uh, USA is a little bit on a tighter uh, position in terms of investment and for the citizenship, whether in UK or Western Europe, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, America, United States? 
There are programs in Europe that are <clears throat> less expensive than the U.S. There are programs in Europe and elsewhere in the country that are easier to negotiate than the U.S. And so on its face, I would answer your question, yeah, there are other opportunities uh, to secure uh, investment migration citizenship elsewhere. Nevertheless, uh, demand seems to be consistent, if not growing. And I can attribute that to uh, any number of things in the United States that, that investors may be interested in. Um, the education system, the collegiate system, for example, for, for their kids. Um, I don't want to speculate on that. Uh, I'm simply looking at the numbers uh, with regards to demand in the U.S. Um, and, it, and it is there uh, definitively and it's increasing. Ultimately, what IUSA would love to do as part of its advocacy efforts is increase the number of visas. Uh, 10,000 visas, in our opinion, is simply not enough. Um, and as McKenzie pointed out earlier, um, the visas are, are secured by the investor and then three or so, or so more visas are attributed to that investor's wife or children. Those others, the wife, the children, or the husband, the children, are not investors per se. Uh, it would be in the U.S. interest, we feel, to eliminate that, allow for those derivative visa individuals to secure their entrance as well. Uh, that would also increase the number of visas. So instead of 3,333 on an annual basis, we truly would have 10,000 U.S. visas uh, to offer. And then, you know, if we ever had the ability or if the U.S. Congress ever had the appetite to bump the 10,000 to 15 or 20,000, well, that would just be fantastic. Thank you very much for your time and elaborating uh, on investing in the USA program. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you for your interest. Thank you.